Hi everyone, you all right? I'm sorry for the noise because right through this video, Ian's gonna saw and clatter and bang all the way through because he's making stuff in the front in the back garden. He's carrying on with a circular saw. Rhubarb crumble. We're making today. Love a good crumble. Who doesn't? Good for using up any past its best fruit, but rhubarb's in the supermarkets and half of it's reduced now. So get yourself some rhubarb. Or apples, use apples. Or plums, anything in fact. So here's my rhubarb. Just chop it up. Okay, so the fruit's all chopped up. But I've also put in a couple of apples that had gone soft, they were past the best, no one was gonna eat them, and a pear. Just peeled them, chopped them, put them in. That goes in a 200 oven and we'll check on it in about 15 minutes. But don't waste your fruit. Um, pass the best apples, make some apple sauce, stew them, stick them in the freezer, but don't waste them. Fire them in a crumble. Okay, so for the crumble topping, you need 200 grams of plain flour, 150 grams of butter, just chop that in, and 100 grams of sugar. Now, ideally, I prefer to use brown sugar, but I don't have any, so normal sugar's okay. Well, this is the messy bit maybe that you could get the kids to do you just need to rub it all in so that you can't really see the butter anymore so there it is like crumbs stir in two teaspoons of baking powder check on your fruit you want it semi soft don't let it burn just give it a, just give it a turn over it's worth saying that you could make double crumble. Um, the crumble topping's really good for freezing. Just defrost it when you want it. And so is stew fruit. You can stew fruit and freeze it and it keeps for ages and just get it out when you want it. So the fruit is semi-soft. It's not cooked all the way through. But you need to let that go cold before you put the crumble on. So I would say you'll need four good tablespoons of sugar on this. Because don't forget rhubarb sour. If it's apple, you'll need less. Just mix it up and taste it. Crumble over the top. And into a 190 oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Careful you don't give yourself 100 degree burns. It's on the lip. That's nice. I'm gonna get on the couch and I'm gonna finish this. So like and share. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. See you soon. Bye.